Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're doing another script tutorial. And, uh, happy holidays! Look, I, I got, I got a, uh, Christmas hat. Can you see? Oh, there we go. Look at that! Wow! wow. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually Minecraft who made this, or if it's Optifine, but it is pretty damn cool. Anyway, I hope you're having a great Christmas. Today I'm gonna make you a beginner's guide for GUIs in script. Yeah, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to, of course, get script. Um, if you don't know how to do this and getting started and all that with script, then I would suggest that you watch my first script tutorial, the um, custom command script tutorial. It will be in the I, in the top right corner, and in the description. So uh, check that out. Anyway, my server is hosted on Minehut, so I'll just go over to the control panel. Here we have my server. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go to plugins. And then as you can see, we've already got a script installed, but we want Tuska, a uh, script add-on installed as well. If you're not running your server on Minehut, then links will be in the description as well for these. So you can download them yourself for your own server. Anyway, I'm going to run a quick restart and then we'll be right back. All right, servers back up. Let's go into file manager. And you want to go to plugins, script, scripts. And then we've got all our scripts here. I want to make a new one up here. And let's just name it GUI.SK. Create that. Now, usually I don't write my code inside the mine, the mine hut, uh, control panel or dashboard or whatever you want to call it. I write mine in my own program because I just think that makes it a lot easier. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to write it in Atom. All right. I've created a new file in Atom. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write command slash GUI that I'm assuming that's what we want the command to be. And then a little colon after that we're gonna do next line a tab and then we're gonna do um, you can do permission and we can just set that to up you can also set it to I don't know like command dot GUI for example if you want that but if you put up then it's just all players that are opt are allowed to do this one uh, we can do permission message. Oh, actually, I just realized I missed an I up here. Be aware of that. Let's do message. And we can do a message. So you want to do two quotation marks right there. And then let's just do um, red text that says you can't do this. All right. Um, yeah. Then we're going to start doing the actual thing. So we're going to do trigger. Um, that's a thing you always want to do when you're when you're making a command. Then what I've done is I have made another line and then another tab. And then we're getting to the spicy stuff here. So we type in open virtual chest inventory with size and this size means the uh, amount of rows in your inventory if you want it to be a double chest you have to do six if you want it to be a single chest um you have to do three i'm gonna just go with three and then we can add a name to it so named then we can do i don't know just something like gui and you gotta add two player at the end so right now, all it does is it opens a chest with three rows that's named GUI. So now we want to start formatting some slots here. Um, you do that by format, GUI, slot, and then the slot number. Um, you can Google this. Uh, there's many pictures and whatever on the internet that shows the numbers of each slot, which slot has the correct number. You can also just count it. But uh, I just know that 11 is where we want it right now. So I'm just going to do 11 of player with 
And now you're going to specify the block um, that you want it to be, or the item, of course. I'm going to do grass block. Because I want these, or I want this GUI to um, change your game mode. That's just a funny thing I want it to do. And I'm thinking when you click on the first item here, you would change your game mode into survival. So we're going to format a GUI slot 11 of player with grass block named. We can give this a name as well. This one could be survival. And I'm going to just make the text green. And name it survival. We can also do a lore. Which is just going to say uh, something like. Change game mode to. And then we can do that. And then if you want to add another line of lore. You can. Uh, Add a little and and then two quotation marks again and we can do survival. There we go. Um, let's just start with this. Let's see if it works. So we're just going to copy this and then we're going to go back in to our script here. We're going to paste it in and then we're going to click save down here. Then we're going to go back in game and we're going to type uh, script reload. GUI. That's the name of our script and it's reloaded. So let's try it. Slash GUI and it works. It opens a GUI with three rows and uh, it's named GUI and it has survival, change game mode to survival. And you can click it, nothing happens. All right, let's go back into the code because we actually we want this to uh, do something when we actually click the item. Um, so you want to do to run after and very important uh you need to remember the colon then next row and then one more tab we're just going to do a simple set players game mode to survival there we go and if you will we can also do a close players inventory so now it should Set player's game mode to survival and close the player's inventory after that. So let's try it. Put it in here and save it as before. We go back in, we reload, and let's see. Bing, we got set to survival and it closed the menu. All right, let's add some more to this because right now it's pretty basic. We can add another one. We can just copy this whole thing. Um, actually copy it like this, make a new line, delete that, and paste it. And now it made it another tab, so I'm just going to delete each one. There we go. This is how it should look. We can change the slot to 15 instead, and the block to, I don't know, like bedrock. And then let's do create creative and change game up to... We're just going to change it, creative, everywhere it says survival, we're going to change to creative. And here also, creative. There we go. So now we should have another one, bedrock in slot 15, that changes your game mode to creative. Another thing we could do, we could add another one. Uh, I do an extra line and then delete one of the tabs. So we are on line with the other format GUIs and then we're going to format a new one on slot 22 that's in the middle on the bottom of player with barrier named and in red close to run another tab close players inventory this is just a little thing um, that will appear at the bottom so you can close the menu pretty easily let's let's see this let's uh, copy it into our thing and remember to save it and go back in game well how did you know i was recording a video bro you stalking Anyway, um, we do script reload GUI as always, and uh, two spaces, blah, 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 found. 
Oh yeah, I know, I know. We we forgot a colon right here. Oh, what a what a cheeky one. Let's try again. It works. Slash GUI. It works. We have our survival, our creative, and we have the close. If you click the close, it will close. If we open again, click the creative, it will close and set us into creative. All right. That is pretty much it. I just quickly want to show you how to format more slots with only one uh, format line or whatever you want to call it. Let's go back into the code. As you can see, after the run, everything I have here is just whatever you want it to do. So you can just type whatever you want here. Um, blow up a creeper, whatever. As long as you have the correct code for it, you can put everything here. If we just move this down just twice and then we can add some variables there we got it remember the colon enter once one tab and let's do let's call it frame frame and it's gonna be um blue stain stained glass pane so this frame right here will always be a blue stained glass pane and if we go down here, after our open virtual chest, we add another line and we can format um, GUI of slot zero and one and two and so on until we have all of these numbers, which are the numbers of the slots all the way around. I have not added 22 because we have a close um, item in that. So yeah. And then we do off player with frame. And we can even, we can name it and we can give it uh, just a color code. So it, it doesn't have any name at all. And then we can copy all this. We can paste it in to our actual script, save it, go back in here, reload it, and let's hope it works. It works. We slash GUI, and let's see. All right, so now we've got a blue uh, stained glass line all the way around. Pretty cool. It doesn't look that good on a small menu like this, but if you had a double chest, it would look a bit better, I think. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We can change to creative and survival pretty easily now. What a great GUI. And all right, that's pretty much it. If you have any further questions, please join my Discord server. Uh, link in the description uh, and ask them there. I'll try to answer everyone. And uh, yeah, if you like you if you if you liked you you like and if you haven't already subscribed and uh, all that shit, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one bye